Huge news in the NASCAR world. This is Charlie Marlowe reporting for the Kenny Wallace YouTube channel. Here is the headline directly from NASCAR.com. Appeals panel amends penalties against Hendrick Motorsports. And here's the article. The National Motorsports Appeals Panel ruled Wednesday to amend the L2 level penalties issued to Hendrick Motorsports for unapproved parts modifications entering the March 12th weekend at Phoenix Raceway. The decision upholds the fines of $100,000 issued to the numbers 5, 9, 24, and 48 NASCAR Cup Series teams. So the fines are still in place, as well as the four race suspensions handed down to the four crew chiefs. So the fines stay, and the four race suspensions for all four Hendrick team crew chiefs are also sticking, but here's the deal. The points are all going back to the drivers. Each team is restored 100 owner's points and 10 playoff points. Kyle Larson, William Byron, and Alex Bowman receive the same points back from the initial reduction. NASCAR Xfinity Series regular Josh Berry drove the number nine Chevrolet at Phoenix in place of the injured Chase Elliott and was not penalized as he does not compete for cut points. So number five crew chief Cliff Daniels, the number nines Alan Gustafson, the number 24's Rudy Fugel and the number 48's Blake Harris are eligible to return to their respective pit boxes for Martinsville Speedway weekend. While the organization chose to appeal the penalties, the team elected to keep its four crew chiefs sidelined for the cup events at Atlanta Motor Speedway and Circuit of the Americas. Quote, We are grateful to the National Motorsports Appeals Panel for their time and attention, team owner Rick Hendricks said in a press release. Quote, Today's outcome reflects the facts, and we're pleased the panel did the right thing by overturning the points penalty. It validated our concerns regarding unclear communication and other issues we raised. We look forward to focusing on the rest of our season, beginning with this weekend's race at Richmond. There are the quotes. This is the article. One more paragraph I'll read you. NASCAR discovered and confiscated the hood louvers from all four Hendrick cars before practice on March 10th, but allowed the teams to practice before taking the parts back to the R&D Center in Concord, North Carolina for further examination. Hendrick replaced the louvers after practice and all four cars passed technical inspection before Byron won the cup race at Phoenix. So once again, here's the details. The fines are still in place and the four race suspensions for all four crew chiefs of the Hendrick teams are still in place. However, all of the points are going back. Each team restored 100 owner's points and the 10 playoff points. That's the huge news. Looks like Rick Hendrick and Hendrick Motorsports will still have to pay the $400,000 fine. All four crew chiefs still will serve their four race suspensions. But if you're a Hendrick Motorsports fan, you got to love the fact that all of these points are being restored to Kyle Larson, William Byron, Alex Bowman, and then of course you have a different situation with Chase Elliott, who is currently injured. Big story, huge historic penalties, and NASCAR has now reduced the penalties to Hendrick Motorsports. Reporting for the Kenny Wallace YouTube channel, I'm Charlie Marlowe.